hello friends hope you are doing well in this video actually we will learn the how to create a maintenance plan and schedule it actually this is the more elaborated and comprehensive video uh, of uh, of my previous video that i have uploaded based on your on viewers comments uh, so i tried my double best this time to make a comprehensive and complete video so that viewers can understand very well so I, I will also share the link of my previous videos to refer it that's why I am uploading this video so watch the video step by step in this video we will see how to upload a task list that will be incorporated with the maintenance plan so here you can see on the screen that we have a template received from the end user to upload the task list for the produce water pumps for the brief, uh, for the PD pumps. So first of all, the first step, what you're going to do is select all these tasks, control C, go to word and paste it, paste it as a text. Okay. Now what you have to do is to drag the spacing to four. My goodness, to four, because uh, we have to have to match it with the SAP operator so it will ex uh, accept only the spacing till 4 so now save as as to the desktop it is very important that you save it as RTF file because SAP interface only accept RTF files you save it and now just close the file now Go to SAP, write the decode IA05. This is the decode we use to create journal task list. Press enter. Now enter the counter text. All right, now write here task list for the PD pumps. Right. Enter the planning plan, which is mandatory. That is the bit 01 for my in my case. Enter the main work center that is MNT dash map. Enter the planning plan WH01. What is the usage of this task list? That is for plant maintenance for planner group. Enter DHK. What would be the status of this task list? Is released in journal or uh, Yes, released in journal. And what would be the system condition? System condition is equip is subject to equipment shutdown. Right now, what what you have to do is to go to operations. Now, copy this from here. Press enter. Select the whole line and go to long text. Right now, go to more. Go to change editor. Right now we will upload the RTF file here. Go to text upload RTF file. We will upload the file that we have created. This one. And we will upload it. Now you can see that the task list has been uploaded that we have created in Word file and save it as rich text format. Go back and now what you have to do is to just save the task list and task list has been created. So in this way do how do you create journal task list in SAP so next step is that we have to create a maintenance plan for that go back and enter the T code IP 01 now select the maintenance plan category that is mandatory in my case it wholly solely depends on how your system is configured press enter now enter the maintenance plan text 
so we will copy it from here right we will adjust the text since we have the limited uh, number of characters to be entered produce water injection form now we will enter the cycle unit that is three and months right we will enter the text three months now after that you have to enter the equipment number for which you want to create a maintenance plan so I will select the equipment number that is PW1 PWP001 now press enter the system is asking to select the notification type we will select it as a preventive maintenance and we will enter the priority enter as medium okay now we will enter the task list or, or we will attach the task list that we have created earlier its number is 13 add 6 and group counter 1 enter now you can see that the task list that we have created has been incorporated with the maintenance plan now next step is to set the scheduling parameters these are very important so when we plan the schedule notification it will help us so we will enter the following values that is late factor shift factor late compliance 100 percent tolerance is your five percent early completion 100 percent and tolerance is minus five right call horizon we will enter 100 scheduling period for 10 years we want to schedule this PM plan completion requirement uh, remember the completion requirement is very essential and important so it will direct the PM uh, maintenance plan that do not trigger the next due notification until the previous one is closed so now we will uh, enter the start scheduling that is the start of cycle it is very important it is very important to remember for example if you want to create a notification new notification on on the 1st of June so depending on the frequency of the cycle in our case that is three months we will select the cycle date three months back from the due date so in this way when we schedule it IP 10 we will get the exact date for example in my case we need these not the, the notification of this maintenance plan on 1st of May so what I will enter is let's say fifth sorry zero five dot zero two that is february and 2024 and we will see in the system so once we do all these steps we will save the maintenance plan right but before saving the maintenance plan when you look at in the in the template we come to know that we need to create the maintenance notification for two other uh, 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 maintenance plan so what we will do we will create another maintenance item in this maintenance plan right so what we do just enter the equipment number that is PWP 002 and enter right the rest data will be taken by SAP itself we will set the priority we will attach the task list that is your 1386 and 1 enter so uh, in the same way we will create another maintenance item and so PWP 003 enter we will select the priority and we will add the task list in the same the steps are same remember one thing the steps are same and now we will save the maintenance plan right now the next step is we want to schedule it so go to T code write the T code IP 10 and press enter so this is our maintenance plan number 14502 press enter now what you have to do you have to start the cycle for a scheduling just click on it the start date is this and we enter it so now you can see that uh, the call date for the notification is 5th of May 
uh, you remember that in maintenance plan we enter the start of cycle date is, is the 5th of february so the next plan date or the call date for the notification is after three months depending on the cycle uh, your frequency of the maintenance plan so it is very important to ensure these things uh, as per user they want the, they want notification in first week of may and it has been done properly so i hope you like the video uh, you watch the steps these are the very basic steps first you need to create the task list then you have to create a maintenance plan and then schedule it so i hope you like the video if you have any query and questions you can mention in comment section thank you for watching the video